Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. In the technological wave of the 21st century, as the core cornerstone of information technology, the strategic position of chips has become increasingly prominent. China, as the center of the global manufacturing industry and a major consumer of electronic products, has an increasing demand for chips. According to the latest customs data, China's imported chips reached an astonishing 549.2 billion in 2024, a year-on-year -year increase of 14.5 percent, and the import amount reached 385.6 billion US dollars, about 2.8 trillion renminbi, a year-on-year -year increase of 9.5 percent. This series of figures not only reveals the current situation of China as a major chip importer, but also reflects the changes in the pattern of China's chip supply chain. Import scale, challenges and opportunities coexist. Faced with such a huge import volume, the current situation of China's chip market can be described as mixed. On the one hand, this reflects China's important position in the global electronic industry chain and the urgent need for high-quality and high-performance chips in the domestic electronic product market. On the other hand, the high import amount also reflects China's shortcomings in independent research and development and production of high-end chips, which poses a challenge to national economic security and scientific and technological self-reliance especially in the context of increasingly fierce competition in the global semiconductor industry, how to reduce external dependence and build an independent and controllable chip industry system has become an urgent task facing China. Import sources, diversification and concentration coexist. In-depth analysis of the import sources of Chinese chips shows that they are characterized by diversification and concentration. From the perspective of geographical distribution, Taiwan Province, South Korea, Hong Kong, Malaysia, Japan and other places constitute the main sources of China's chip imports. Among them, Taiwan Province ranks first with an import value of 139.77 billion US dollars, accounting for 36.2%, highlighting the closeness of cross-strait economic cooperation. South Korea follows closely, with an import value of 83.93 billion US dollars, accounting for 21.7 percent, reflecting South Korea's important position in the global semiconductor supply chain. It is worth noting that although the United States is known as the leader in global chip technology, and has many industry giants such as Qualcomm, Intel, NVIDIA, and AMD. Its share in China's chip imports is relatively low, only 3%, with an amount of about 11.78 billion US dollars, ranking seventh. Behind this phenomenon, there's both the complexity of Sino-US economic and trade relations and the adjustment of China's chip import structure. China is gradually optimizing its import strategy, reducing its dependence on a single source, while increasing support for domestic chips to promote the coordinated development of upstream and downstream of the industrial chain. Analysis of the reasons for the low share of the United States Why does the United States have a high share in the global chip market, but a relatively low share in China's imports? There are multiple factors behind this. First, under the background of Sino-US trade frictions and technological competition, the United States has tightened export restrictions on China, especially for the export of high-end chips and advanced manufacturing equipment, which has limited the direct supply of American chips in the Chinese market. This has prompted China to accelerate the promotion of domestic substitution and reduce its dependence on American technology. Second, the diversified demand of the Chinese chip market. As the world's largest electronic product production base, China's chip demand covers all levels from low-end to high-end. However, 
American chip companies focus more on the high-end market, such as high-performance computing, artificial intelligence, and other fields, which does not fully match the overall demand structure of the Chinese market. In contrast, chip companies in Taiwan, South Korea, and other places are better at producing low-end and mid-end chips that meet the needs of mass markets, such as consumer electronics and communication equipment so they have a higher market share in the Chinese market. Furthermore, the reconstruction of the global supply chain has also affected the pattern of China's chip imports to a certain extent. In recent years, with the rapid development of the global semiconductor industry and market changes, countries have strengthened the construction of local industrial chains and promoted the diversification of supply chains. China is no exception. By strengthening cooperation with emerging semiconductor producers such as Southeast Asia and Eastern Europe, it has broadened the channels for chip imports and reduced its dependence on specific countries and regions. Looking to the future, self-control and international cooperation are equally important. Faced with the huge demand for chip imports and the uncertainty of the external environment, the future development path of China's chip industry is clear. On the one hand, it is necessary to adhere to independent innovation, increase R&D investment, break through key technical bottlenecks, and promote the leapfrog improvement of domestic chips in quality and performance. On the other hand, it is also necessary to deepen international cooperation, actively participate in the division of labor in the global semiconductor industry chain and build a mutually beneficial and win-win supply chain system. At the same time, China is accelerating the coordinated development of the chip industry through a series of measures, such as the establishment of a national integrated circuit industry investment fund, the implementation of strategies such as chip machine linkage, and chip car collaboration, and providing more application scenarios and market opportunities for domestic chips. In short, the continued growth of China's chip imports is both a challenge and an opportunity. In the context of globalization, China needs to adopt a more open attitude, adhere to the innovation-driven development strategy, deepen international cooperation and jointly respond to the changes and challenges of the global semiconductor industry, so as to lay a solid foundation for achieving scientific and technological self-reliance.